Think not I love him, though I ask for him. Tis but a peevish boy. Yeah, he talks well. <laughs> well what care I for words? <laughs> yeah, words do well when he that speaks them pleases those that hear. It is a pretty youth. Not very pretty, but sure he's proud. And yet his pride becomes him. He'll make a proper man. The best thing in him is his complexion. And faster than his tongue did make a fence, his eye did heal it up. He's not very tall. And yet for his years he's tall. His leg is but so-so, and yet, as well, there's a pretty redness in his lip. A little riper and more lusty red than that mixed in his cheek. It was like the difference betwixt the constant red and mingled damask. There be some women, Sylvius, had they marked him in parcels as I did, would have gone near to fall in love with him. But for my part, I love him not, nor hate him not. And yet I have more cause to hate him than to love him. For what had he to do to joyed at me? He said mine eyes were black, my hair black. And now I have remembered, scorned at me. I marvel why I answered not again. Ah, that's all one. Omittance is no quittance. I'll write to him a very taunting letter. And thou shalt bear it. Wilt thou, Sylvius? I'll write it straight. The matter's in my head and in my heart. I will be bitter with him and passing short. Go with me, Sylvius.